No doubt about it, Lincoln is growing. What do we do about the kids? Where do we put them, right? LPS needs to buy land for new schools. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Joe Harris has more now in tonight's top story. Joe, what's the plan? Well, Rod, LPS says it's all about planning for the future. And no, you don't have to worry about your taxes going up. On Tuesday, the LPS Board of Education voted to approve two land purchase agreements. One is for spending $1.5 million to buy land south of Rokeby Road between 70th and 84th Streets. The other is for a land exchange around property LPS already owns near 40th and Yankee Hill. Both of these purchase agreements are just that, agreements to enter into the process of purchasing the sites. So neither one of them are complete until the whole closing of the transaction. Dr. Liz Standish says these agreements are necessary because Lincoln is growing in all directions. In fact, LPS owns land at around 10 different sites in the city. It's always looking for additional land for potential sites to build schools. In this most recent agreement, it wants land in southeast Lincoln because there's significant development. Wysong Elementary, which would be the next closest school to this site, is reaching capacity. So we know that in our long-range planning, we have to consider additional sites in that area. She says the land exchange agreement is to work with developers of the bordering properties and plan according to how that area has developed. Taxpayers need not fear. Dr. Standish says the purchases would be included in the bond campaign the public voted on in 2014. Now again, these purchases aren't set in stone yet. Dr. Sanders says next fall they'll begin working on plans for building new schools. All right, Joe Harris looking into the future for us. Thank you.